Okay, this is a video about a 1975 Harley Davidson three wheel golf cart. Uh, pretty sure it's a 1975 just from the information we've been able to get. Uh, but if anybody wants to leave a <clears throat> leave a comment below about uh, what year it might be, feel free to do so. But here's some things we did to it. We put on some lights and uh, put a sticker on there that said uh, Harley Davidson Motorcycles. Uh, added a windshield, a top. Really a pretty cool ride. Got some flags back there. This is my lovely wife. She's going to be taking us for a ride in a few minutes. We added a rear view mirror and a radio. It's actually inside of a, an enclosure that goes on a boat to keep it uh, waterproof. It's got a CD player, AM, FM radio. Uh, down here you got your, your gas pedal, you got your brake pedal. That toggle switch there besides the, beside the key actually turns the headlights on and off and then of course the ignition switch there you turn that on to enable the uh, the ignition to, to actually start it. It's a two cycle engine and uh, <clears throat> you just turn that key on and it turns the battery ignition on it has points and uh, condenser and regular car, car coil works off 12 volts uh, right there is the shift lever it goes between forward and reverse and all that basically does is is uh, change the um, polarity of the uh, start motor and this being a two cycle it just, uh, just cranks in reverse and starts and runs in reverse or forward depending on which way you want to go and then uh, down there by the floor that's the choke and you pull that out to uh, richen the mixture in the mornings when it's cool and uh, it being a two cycle it's a little smoky out the back so Ordinarily, the muffler comes out underneath the thing, so we added an exhaust pipe on there because uh, it gets kind of smoky under there and it kind of stinks up your clothes. So if you look back here at the back, we added a little uh, a little exhaust pipe. It's made out of uh, EMT. It's got a little elbow that attaches to the uh, muffler that's up under the uh, seat, the driver's seat and put an elbow on it and just ran it back here to the back and kind of keep some of that uh, exhaust back behind you. You also notice a, a fancy uh, bumper we put on there, aluminum, welded up aluminum bumper. Two lights back here and we don't have any brake lights but it's just it's like when you turn that toggle switch on I showed you earlier it turns the headlights on and turns the running lights on back here at the back. It's got new tires on it. It's a, uh, it's pretty cool. Now we did do one other thing. If you notice right down here, there's a little uh, polarized two two pin connector that connects to a battery maintainer that we have. So when we park this thing in the garage, we just hook it up and keep the battery charged. Now as far as the seats go, they're uh, two boat seats. You can buy these at a boat boat place and uh, uh, boat supply place and uh, they actually fold down and uh, they're really nice comfortable seats the seats that we were on it were just totally rotted away so we replaced them with that now also I mentioned about the radio it's actually a, a stereo and here's the two speakers that go in it and uh, added this uh, this cushion back here in the back that if you pull that off it uncovers a little area that you can put some tools or something in and you can also sit back here if you like. And then right here is pretty neat. There's a little door that opens up to the fuel fuel tank. And the thing holds like eight gallons of fuel. We can go forever with this thing. So I think right now we're going to take a, a ride. My lovely wife is going to be nice enough to take us for a ride. Uh, first thing she's going to do is turn on the ignition switch. And then you'll notice right here on the dashboard, I'm going to close the radio up right now. That's that uh, watertight contain, uh, enclosure I was telling you about. And uh, you'll notice that the, we have a voltmeter here that uh, as soon as we turned the key on, it went up to about 13. And uh, as soon as we start it, it's gonna drive away and you'll notice our battery will start charging and we'll take a little ride. 
so. And you see it start up. And you see the battery starts charging. It really rides smooth. Uh, two cycle engine's a little rough at first, but then it smooths out pretty nice. With that exhaust on there, the muffler and the tailpipe and everything, it quietens it down quite a bit. Now we uh, removed the governor off of this, so you have to kind of be careful about how far you put the pedal down. There's just nothing going to control the speed, and if you put the pedal all the way to the floor, it'll overspeed and eventually blow the motor up. So we try to keep it at a, a safe speed. You, you could probably run about 15 miles an hour without hurting anything. And, uh, we're going to ride down here. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to make a stop. And uh, I'm going to get out and let, uh, let my lovely wife drive down the road and come back and pick me up so you get an idea what it looks like okay. on the road. Okay. Okay, you ready? Take it away. Pretty neat looking deal. And it runs pretty good too. I'd say it'd do about 20 miles an hour. And so there it is. That concludes this video about the three wheeler Harley Davidson golf cart. Thank you.